What's up, Nail Geeks? Today I have Lemming Lacquer's School of Magic collection to show you guys. She is also having a Black Friday sale that is going on right now. I'll have all details below as well as at the end of this post. So let's get started with the collection. First up is Necromancy. This is described as a gray Corelli with bright green shimmer that shifts blue and purple at extreme angles. So formula on this one to me felt a little bit on the medium to kind of light side. Now on this first coat here, it does start off just a touch thin. It did build quite easily to opacity for me. And I felt like probably on the second coat, I could have stopped. Now I do have a few cracks on my nails um, that you know, all the shopping this week. <laughs> uh, definitely, I made a few mistakes and things happened, and now I have a few damaged things on my nails that I'm trying to hide. So I think the majority of people are going to be fine at two coats. I did go to that third coat once again, just to hide any little imperfections that I currently have going on on my nails right now. Everything picked up super easily for me. The shimmer in this is kind of on the moderate side for how apparent it is in person you'll definitely see it a lot better the base color is a lovely medium to dark gray it's very very pretty um watching the playback here i think what i'm seeing is color accurate on as for that base color in person that shimmer is mostly going to come up this beautiful aqua color and then on extreme angles you'll see it shift to a lovely purple and even on like shaded areas, you'll see that aqua shift also to a nice cerulean blue. Very, very pretty. And it contrasts really nice with that base color. I'm going in with a glossy top coat and everything was smooth to the touch. And it just really, really gave me that nice super cream look on my nails. Next up is Conjuration. This is described as a rust red hollow with gold and bronze micro flakes and gold, copper, bronze, iridescent flakes. I was really, really in love with this one. Um, I don't normally go crazy for like coppery or um, like rust red types of colors, but I thought this one was really, really pretty. The flakes in it give a really nice depth overall. They picked up easily for me from the bottle onto the brush and they laid down flat for me. I feel like on the video they are coming up just a a touch shy in person you'll see them it's they're not like super super prominent but they do give a nice little inner depth going on here you'll see them come off mostly as gold and green and I really wish on this one I could have captured the shimmer in this um, I tried to catch it on my macro shots on my blog post it's got this very luminescent green to it in person um, I think you're just gonna have to trust me on this one it's very strong against the hollow and the, the base going on here. I didn't have any texture after top coat. My nails were smooth to the touch and the formula has a really, really nice dense feeling during application. I think everyone's going to be just fine at two coats and there's just so much sparkle and shine with this one. Really flattering for a rust red. Next up is Ev evocation I think I'm probably saying that wrong but <laughs> I'm also a little nasally I have a cold so I apologize um, if I'm sounding a little bit weird today this is described as a jungle green with orange micro flakes and green gold orange iridescent flakes formula on this one has a light to almost medium feel during application it does apply very opaque during that first coat as you're seeing here that base is a gorgeous, very flattering green. It's not, you know, it doesn't have that yellow or chartreuse, I should say, undertone to it. I think this one is just cool toned enough that if you're warm toned like me, it's gonna look really, really nice on you and it'll pop really well. The flakes in it picked up easily for me. I had no issues with them. They laid down nice and flat for me as you're seeing here and they behaved. And they're gonna give a nice contrast against that base color. In person, you're mostly going to see it as a shift between coppers and golds. And then on extreme angles, they'll shift to this really nice teal color. I think overall, this is a perfect green polish. For those of us who are 
partial to greens and blues. Once again, no texture after top coat. My nails were smooth to the touch and that formula just stays exactly where you put it and it does have quite a bit of a squishy feel during application. Next up is one of my top picks from this collection. This is Transmutation. It is described as a purple to green thermal with gold, orange, and red shimmer. Formula on this one had a very nice buttery feel during application and the shimmer is crazy strong in it. You mostly see it in a copper state and then on extreme angles you're going to see a nice gold come out to play. And very, very extreme angles I do see a touch of green peeking out at me. The cold state is the purple that you are seeing here. Now I do want to say that the thermal properties on this are crazy, crazy strong. So sometimes when I'm swatching polishes like this and the warm state is a lot lighter in color, I tend to kind of get a little tripped up as, as to, you know, just how opaque or whatnot. I want to say safely, given how buttery the formula is on this one, you're going to be good to go at two coats. Um, I think if you're like me and you get a little, <laughs> you get tripped up when you're putting it on and you're like, okay, you know, how opaque is this going to be? Um, you know, do I have full coverage? As you're seeing here, sec two coats on that second coat, it's, it's opaque and you're, you know, I was fine um, overall. I had no texture after top coat. It was just smooth to the touch. Um, just really, really nice color. Um, I personally really enjoy both states on this one. I know a lot of people are kind of like me and you'll favor one state over the other, but I think both states are really, really beautiful. That cold state, that purple, it's, it's that wonderful, vibrant, vampy purple. And then the warm state is this olive, almost sage green. I think the shimmer complements both states very, very well. Next up is abjuration. This is described as a dark purple jelly with green micro flakes and a mix of iridescent flakes that shift violet, pink, orange, gold, and red. Formula on this one feels a little bit on the medium, kind of light side again. Um, I think the jellies in this entire collection, they have very similar uh, properties during application. They have this really like, what I typically call a jello-like feel during application. It feels like, you know, when you're making jello and you haven't poured it in your pan yet, but you're just kind of mixing it and it's got that really like almost glassy kind of consistency to it. It's kind of like that. So stays where you put it. It's super smooth, very rich. I would say on abjuration here, just be careful with your brush strokes because this beauty is loaded with those flakes. And that way you won't, you'll prevent any balding or anything from happening. Um, the formula also kind of makes it to where you apply it like that. So um, just be mindful of your brush strokes and I think you're gonna be just fine. I didn't have any texture after top coat with this one. I would like to say that I am using Night Owl Lacquer's Patience Not Required Top Coat and I'm going in kind of medium. I'm not putting too much, I'm not putting too little and I'm not having any texture after top coating. The flakes in this one are super, super lovely against that really rich vampy purple base. They're coming up in reds and golds and oranges, just really twinkling out at you. Next, we have Divination. This is described as a raspberry jelly with iridescent flakes shifting purple, blue, turquoise, red, and pink. Formula, once again, has that nice jelly squishy feel to it. it stays where you put it, and it comes off very, very opaque, um, even on that first coat here. Now, this was a pleasant surprise for me. Um, I fell in love with it in the bottle, and I just thought it was going to be a wonderful color. And during the first coat here, I figured to myself, okay, it's, you know, more of a raspberry color. You know, got it. We're good to go. On the second coat was when I got that really nice, just crimson red. Super, super pretty. I think on that second coat, I really, really fell hard for it. This is one of those types of, I want to say berry-ish reds that I think are, is just really flattering. And this is also absolutely loaded with flakes. I mean, there is a ton in here. The flakes were going to shift from pinks and oranges and blues and greens. They just have this nice rainbow effect against that red base. 
Once again, going in with top coat, I had no texture or anything. Those flakes laid down nice and flat for me. I had no issues whatsoever with them. And there's a really nice pond effect with the flakes against the jelly base. Super, super pretty. I think this would be great for holiday colors as well. Next, we have probably my second pick in the collection. I really, really liked this color. This is Illusion, and it's described as a winter blue crelly with cyan shimmer, blue to purple iridescent flakes, and silver metallic flakes. So this one comes off just a touch more opaque than the other ones on the first coat here. I did go in just a little bit probably too loaded for the brush, but the polish itself self-leveled really nice, and it didn't goop up on me on this first coat. Second coat goes in and it's pretty much just evening everything out and just giving you that really just pop of blue. This type of blue I think is just really, really flattering. I really adore it. It's dark, but it's also bright. Um, I think watching the playback here, it's looking like it's color accurate, at least on my monitor for what I'm seeing in person. It's just really beautiful. Now in person, you'll, you're going to see those silver flakes uh, very obviously against the blue base and there's more flakes in the background that come off blues and greens so once again we're getting a nice pond effect here with the overall finish and just really really nice this is another one I could see working very well for your holiday manis and I had no texture after top coat the last polish is another one of my favorites from this collection this is absolutely stunning this is enchantment and it's described as a dusty purple crelly with gold, orange, pink micro flakes and purple, pink, orange iridescent flakes. The base color on this one is stunning. I really adore this shade of purple. It's just, it's, it's wonderful. And those flakes are going to give you a wonderful shift between coppers and pinks and greens. It's just, I don't know. I, it's hard to say. This one's probably one of my favorites in this set. I don't know. I just, between transmuta transmutation and illusion, it's just, there's, I can't really pick a favorite, but <laughs> now this one, once again, I want to remind you guys, I do film these videos in very bright lights. The purple that you're seeing here to me is color accurate from what I'm seeing. I feel like my blog photos are coming off just a touch bright. They're coming off a little more, uh, more like a neon purple, which this is a, I would say a medium purple. So like what you're seeing here is what I'm seeing in person. It definitely is bright, but it does have a, a deep quality to it. The full Manny shot, I think will give you a better idea of what it looks like in person. So super flattering, super pretty. And that purple is just amazing. I had no texture after top coat and those flakes behaved just fine for me. Now, the polishes in the collection, Necromancy and Transmutation are 11 each, and the rest are 13. The collection is $88 with free US shipping. And the Black Friday sale that is currently going on right now, you will get an automatic 10% off, no coupon needed. Um, everything's loaded up on the site right now. And you can use the code that I'm gonna post below for 20% off of orders $20 or more, or everything else in the shop through Cyber Monday. So I will link you guys to the shop below if you wanna check any of these out. I highly recommend at least a few of these. They're just absolutely beautiful. I think the whole collection is very, very, just definitely school of magic inspired um, between the flakes and then that thermal. And there's just, there's a whole lot of wonderful goodies going on, especially if you're a flaky lover. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.